everyone, it's Ali, and there seems to be quite a lot of new kitties that are going to be playing Path of Exile this season, whether they're coming from Diablo or that have been playing Last Epoch and have seen Path of Exile or heard of Path of Exile from quite a lot of people. There seems to be a lot more new player interest in the game, and I thought to very quickly make a video that I think would help quite a lot of new players, as it seems like a lot of people really don't know too much about Path of Exile. And the beautiful thing about our game is we are blessed with an absolutely amazing community that makes quite a lot of third-party tools for this game that make our lives substantially easier while playing it. And I thought today we should go over some of the better ones that you should really make sure you have for yourself at late launch to be able to make your experience just that much better. So the first one we should go over today, which I think is just a classic, I think everyone knows about it, but just in case you don't, we are going to be talking about Path of Building. Now, Path of Building is effectively the community's attempt at literally taking the game and just simplifying it down into a spreadsheet simulator. Path of Building is basically the game simplified down into its core basics in a program that allows us to simulate and test whatever we like. For example, we have a whole passage tree in here and we can allocate points and we can see what each of these points actually do and, and how much of an upgrade they would be for a certain build. And this allows us to basically plan and play around and see the stats of our character without us actually having to put a character together in game, allowing us to very quickly prototype and simulate new builds, especially because we can add new skills, see how much, for example, a support gem would do for us in terms of DPS, allow us to add in new gear and allow us to craft items to be able to simulate specific items and with this it basically just allows you to plan your character and it allows you once you do have a character to just simply take an item like this red beak import it into path of building and then we could see exactly what this item would do for my build and how to change it without this tool i don't think a lot of people would be playing path of excel it just makes it really easy for us to even share just things like build guides where i can give you a path of building that's going to have a note section like this inside of it that basically walk you through everything you might want to do for your build or give you a path of building with a bunch of different different leveling trees in it to allow you to be able to follow along with a build very easily. Path of Building is by far the single most important tool that we have for Path of Exile, and I highly recommend to download it for yourself to make your life a little bit easier. Now, in terms of making your life easier, on top of all this, we have Filter Blade. So Path of Exile has a very extensive filter system that pretty much lets you do whatever you want to all the drops that you're gonna see in game. And what Filter Blade does is it basically gives you a user interface that allows you to manipulate the filter in a very easy way, while at the same time giving you some really nice tools for example, Examples such as an auto sort feature allowing me to immediately auto sort all these divination cards by price without me having to go through and check the price of everything and just allows you to be able to set up your filter exactly how you'd want your filter to be without the hassle of trying to edit a text file manually. Before filter really existed, creating filters was probably one of the hardest things to do in this game. And well, now that we have it, it's very simple for us to just go through. For example, if I don't want to see 10 chaos uniques, I just simply hide them and just save my filter. And then just like that, in a minute or two, it would be available for me in game without me having to go through much hassle. Filter Blade is great, but it's going to take you a little bit of time to get used to how Filter Blade actually works and how to actually properly utilize it to its full potential. But the really nice thing about Filter Blade is that it makes sharing filters with other people very easy. And for example, if you want to use my filter, it'd be very simple for me just link you my filter you'd be able to come over to filter blade get yourself a copy of it and then change whatever you'd like about it or you could even go to my account and specifically just follow it or just any content creator's account or any person's account you wanted a filter from. And then every single time they'd update their filter, including through Filter Blade, your filter would automatically be updated in game. Now, in terms of planning, we have some amazing tools for that as well. Now, we have POE Planner, which is basically the same thing as Path of Building, where you can attempt to put together a tree in here and just have this as a very convenient way of sharing a tree with people. But the main kicker of POE Planner, and the reason we really like this website, is simply because it also has an atlas tree section to it meaning i can plan my end game mapping setup and create a passage tree for exactly which points i'd want to pick up in my atlas setup and this allows me to immediately prototype exactly what i want to run as my atlas tree and then just be able to have this as a very convenient place to be able to look at exactly what i planned and just be able to follow along without having to remember every single point i actually want to take not only that but it also shows you everything on the right side so it's very easy for you to be able to see exactly where you'd be getting for whatever you're picking meaning you can plan your strategies substantially easier in terms of actually mapping we also have another amazing feature called poe regex what poe regex is going to do is going to allow you to create regexes for the game which are just strings of text that allow you to specifically filter for well quite a lot of things and a good example of that is with maps so let's say that I had a bunch of different mods that my build cannot do. In this case, I can't do Reflex, I can't do No Region, can't do Leech, I'd rather not do Max Player Res, and whatever other cases you might have with mods. What you could do is simply just go through the list on POE Regex and just simply pick every single mod that you wouldn't want to do. And at the same time, you also pick up mods you'd want to. There's a few other settings, for example, being able to set quality in here. And the whole point of this is, as long as you are able to keep this under 50 characters, which is the limit of what you can actually put in the in-game text 
text box, you will then be given a regex that's going to specifically filter out every single map that does not have these specific mods on it. It's very powerful in a situation like this where I just have a large amount of maps, but I don't want to go through every single one of these and figure out which ones I can specifically do and which ones I can't. Now I could go through and do something like this where I could just type in reflect, for example, and see that these are all the maps with reflect and potentially remove them and take them out of the pool. But that's a little bit too inconvenient. So I just simply just paste my regex in here. And as you can see, this will show me every single map within this task tab that I could actually do. Every single map that actually gets highlighted are maps that do not have any of the modifiers that I specifically picked in that regex, meaning I don't need to sit here and look through every single one of these to find what I want to, or don't have to look through all these one by one to filter them out manually. Yeah, we regex does just more than that though. You'd also use it for vendor regexes. So for example, at the start of the season, let's say I specifically want three green or two green, one blue, and I want to find movement speed boots and plus one wands and any other miscellaneous things that might be useful for leveling. I can create myself a regex with this, and if I simply just come in game and then go over to a vendor i just post this in here and it would show me any items that might actually highlight through with this specific regex in mind this just makes it very easy for you to be able to go over to a vendor immediately and then just post your regex in here and then immediately be able to see exactly the items that you'd be looking for rather than me having to sit here and look at every single one of these items to have to look at the socket colors and to attempt to find exactly what i want within this inventory of gear this means that at least start i could just immediately spot my three green chest plate just like that without needing to sit here and just waste a few extra minutes or potentially be missing out on something that I might have simply just glanced over. Now, once we've gotten past all the leveling and all the planning, let's talk about how to actually be able to do trading a little bit more efficiently. So obviously we all know about the trade website where you can pretty much search whatever you want on here and you could do some pretty advanced mod filtering where you can set up specific filters which allow you to just immediately see exactly the kind of item that you'd want. If you don't know about the trade website, this is pretty much how we do trade in Path of Exile. And without this, if you do plan to play trade, you're going to have a pretty miserable time. What I want to show you here is going to be the better trading chrome extension that you can get that in my opinion i pretty much cannot live without the better trading extension allows you to set up different bookmarks and allows you to group things which can very easily allow you to just go back and search things whenever you might need them for example for me i typically always like to put whatever farming strategy i'm going to be doing in its own section so if i very quickly just want to look for example for sextants i could simply just click on the search that i bookmarked to be able to find exactly which sextant i want immediately rather than me having to go and specifically reset up these searches. This can be very useful, especially on massive extensive searches that you would want to use very often. In my case here, I have a search where I specifically want to see 10 of any of these scarabs. It'd be kind of a pain to just sit here and select all these individually. And instead, I could just simply click this button to bring me to this specific trade every single time. Not only that, but if you are, for example, looking at upgrades and you're looking to see what kind of items you might want to get yourself, there is also the pin feature, which allows you to specifically scroll through and basically do some window shopping and then pin whatever you'd want to look at and whatever seems interesting to you out of all the things here and well as you can see all the things i pin are now on the right side allowing me to either just immediately go back to them very quickly or allowing me to specifically compare all of them to see exactly which one i'd want to get finally and this is by far my favorite feature is the history tab on better trading allowing you to pretty much just look at the past 50 trades that you've done which allow you to very quickly go back to that trade if you want to look at it again if you want to be able to get there really quickly without you potentially having to go into your search history and trying to find the trade there not only this but tries to give you some context on exactly what you search for allowing you to more easily be able to find what they are as all these are just a garbage string of text which makes it very difficult to know exactly what standard m3 b8 3x is as a trade but it's not perfect as for example if I am searching for an item like this, like a compass, it won't be able to tell me that this is a compass as it won't be able to pull the contextual info from this, but still very, very useful. Moving on from there, we have Awakened Trade. Now, if you ever want to price check something in game, and if you ever want to know how much something is worth, Awakened Trade is the tool for you. What Awakened Trade allows you to do once you have set it up is it allows you to just simply click Control D on any single item in the game. As you can see, it'll very nicely pull up a window for me in the middle of my game that allows me to very quickly price check the price of an elevated sextant as you can see here in standard elevated sextants are currently worth around 50 60 maybe 90 chaos or so or for example i want to know the price of some random jewel i could also just price check that this works on quite a lot of things it allows you to very easily check the price of quite a lot of things while at the same time also giving you the option to check different mods on items to be able to narrow your search down to specific items to see how much they're worth this could also work on rare items so for example if i want to know how much this belt is worth i could simply just price check it and let's say i want to specifically look at leather belts that had strength and life and a little bit of resistance on them, I could see how much that belt would be worth and allow me to price check my items and allow me to figure out an 
price for items substantially easier. And finally, if you're looking to do big sales of items, I would recommend to use PoE Stock. Now, PoE Stock has quite a lot of other nice tools, such as a stash tab view, which allows you to specifically look at whatever stash tabs you might select from a list, which would then also pull them up on PoE Stock and allow you to see everything that you have in said stash, while at the same time giving you a price of what's in there. So if you want to know the price of every single item within a given stash, for example, a currency stash, you could possibly do that to figure out your wealth. The real kicker here, and the reason you'd want to use PoE Stock, is the bulk TFT tool. After a little bit of setup, what this would allow you to do is to immediately be able to bulk sell items that typically are very annoying to sell at a substantially faster rate. For example, if I want to sell every single essence in this tab, it'd be very annoying and very slow to actually do so many different trades while at the same time having to list every single one of these essences for different prices, meaning I'd be wasting quite a lot of time actually trying to extract all the money from this. Well, through PME Stack, you can just do a bulk offer, which someone, if they feel like your price is worth it, can come and message you for them to where they'd give you just a agreed upon amount of money for everything in your bulk offer, while at the same time, you just being able to offload everything to them. Now, obviously, you'd make a little bit less money than if you bought, if you sold everything individually, because at the end of the day, they also need to make money because they're most likely going to be manually selling all that. But the point is the amount of time that would save you from having to sell every single one of these essences individually, you'd make that money back by just being able to play the game and just by not having to be frustrated with attempting to sell so many separate items. And with all of that, that should be every tool that I personally use and pretty much can't live without on a day-to-day -day basis while playing Path of Exile. Hopefully some of these tools were new to you and hopefully some of this information was useful. And I hope that this makes your league start a little bit easier and I hope it makes you have a little bit more fun with Path of Exile. If you have any questions on any of this, feel free to leave a comment in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to help you as soon as I can. And you're also free to come on my Twitch and ask me any questions you have there. I stream every single day. Or if you simply just want to be a part of my community, I'd be more than happy to see you there as well. With all I said, kitties, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next video.